Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I've got a, a meeting this week at Lancaster Museum where uh, they want to show the Saxon finds. So the Saxon finds are, are, are a rare find in the Lancaster Morecambe Bay area. Um, I'll show you the finds coming up soon. It's the kind of the first time that they've been together. There's two missing items, which I'll put pictures up. Uh, both in uh, the company of the uh, museum, shall we say. And the, yeah, so w w the, the museum have been over the spot, uh, scanned it with ground penetrating radar, had drones up, all trying to get a bit of a picture of, of what went on, whether there was any structures there, uh, yeah, so it'd be fantastic if there were. I think there's there's a bit of evidence of some kind of wooden structure uh, on the little on the main spot. Obviously, can't uh, say say where it is too much, but it's it's a little mound in a in a field. Uh, there's other mounds in that field, and there's other fields nearby, but they centre around that area, and it's just fabulous to think that this is right at the start of the creation of England, the Anglo-Saxons, you know, whether whether it's, you know, related to Vikings or Anglo-Saxons, basically early medieval. And, you know, I've, I've detected a lot around this area and not had anything to do with these Anglo-Saxon peoples. So what they were doing on this one little spot in the year eight. 80 or whatever, something like that. Who knows? Uh, you know, they had a, a sciatus with them from the year 710 that was made on the continent. So what what were they doing? Were they trading? Uh, was it a bit of a mini invasion force? Uh, what happened? You know, you know they, they probably were trading, but how did they get on with the other local people? Why did they have, you know, different coinage, different materials? What did the what did the locals make of them? Uh, yeah, so the museum think that it's it could be on a bit of a route between Dublin to the Isle of Man. Lots of finds on the Isle of Man, Viking finds, uh, you know, and into Morecambe Bay, and then maybe across country. Uh, to York and then back out the other side over to, you know, kind of uh, the lowlands and Scandinavian countries. Who knows? Uh, but it's just fabulous to have found, uh, you know, these Anglo-Saxon finds in North Lancashire and what it's going to add to the history. So these will soon be in Lancaster Museum. So you could pop along and have a look and see what they see what they make of it and uh what else was i going to say yeah no just such a such a lucky find some of these things are absolutely tiny absolutely tiny right let's have a look so these are the coins so this is the first time that they've been together uh, the museum were holding on to four They've temporarily given me them back. So there's a Sciatus porcupine, Series E, I believe. And that is from the year 710. Uh, six of the rest, those six, are Northumbrian style stikers. That one is very debased. But the museum people have looked and said, yeah, they think it is a Stiker. That's a Roman soliloquy. But interestingly, it's cut down to the exact same size as these coin, these other early medieval coins. So my theory is that it was kind of being used as a silver skeet, skiatus. Uh, but, you know, who knows? So... What a what a history these these people had, uh, you know, Christian cross, 
the lettering around the outside that would say the king and the money uh, in different uh, conditions so some are in better condition than others but look at that dot and uh, circle design so that's the that's the coins yeah it's uh totty t t o i i yeah don't want to handle them too much yeah then they don't get in as good condition but that's kind of the reverse yeah if you look at the reverse that one is not particularly great so it would have been so easy to miss these right so that's the possible eight coins definitely seven and i do believe that that is part of it as as well obviously people will have their own opinion and the beauty of it is we'll we'll never know okay so uh here's the uh strap end type things so there's two holes there for it to have been sewn on at the end of a leather strap you can see whoops it's got a that was clever of me uh you can see it's got a like a almost a celtic knot design so yeah there's a bit of gold gilding on there look at that circles with crosses in like a lattice probably based on you know what they used to do with uh, wicker or what have you that's snapped off would have been longer you can just see the design and the two eyes and then whatever that was yeah the, on the side there's been two pin heads that one octagonal pin heads you can see the faces uh, imagine that in its day and whoops that one yeah love that dot so saxon okay now these two uh, the dark gray one i believe is silver could be hack silver uh, at first for a long while i believe that these were gaming pieces uh, but they're more likely to be pin heads so that the head of uh, pins you know you know, oops you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to play much of a game with that and say oh yeah so i think those are decorative pin heads uh, these two are interesting you know the museum of there's been finds like these on a previous site so i'll see that star there and they kind of really don't know what they are so they think they could be parchment stamps who, who knows what they were for maybe maybe they were uh, for you know putting uh, like a ink tattoo on your face or something who knows what they were for but look at that how strange that it's kind of off center and and that one's yeah going over that edge very strange that's more central and i think this is similar to that i don't know if you'll be able to see a bit of a design at the end oops so they could be parchment stamps or or what now I did test this and I don't think it's silver. It looks a little bit grey, but I don't think it is. But the harder 
you know, that, that's definitely not lead. It's a lot, lot harder than lead. Now this could be part of it and it it's very hard and it could have been the thing that was used to make the lines or it could be a later crossbow bolt. Yeah. So yeah, so those are the finds, but that's that's got the museum the most excited, I think. North Lancashire, Anglo-Saxon Sciatus from 710, made on the continent. You can just see that there. Apparently it's a design, a close-up of a Roman coin, and that's the, the hair. So very, very interesting stuff, but yeah, so absolutely Fabulous, so tiny, smaller than your little fingernail. Well, mine anyway. So those are the best coins. So easy to have missed that. I think that's got a counter stamp in. That's got a silver wash on. Crikey, what were they used for? Obviously trading so that's the the wealth of the little community whether they're in a container and it's got lost you know there could have been an iron container there i've found kind of a bit of iron so it could have it could have been in iron and it's been broken open by the plow and scattered rather than uh, just drops over time but who knows how long the people were there Right, let's have a look at some of the other stuff. Okay, so here's some of the other items. So lead, the leadish items. Yeah. So it's got a, obviously a shape to it and a hole in the middle. Oop. That piece. I don't think there's anything on it, but yeah, whoop. It always looks like there is. That little weight or... They say gaming piece, don't they, when they don't know. <laughs> Oops. This might be later. Could be to do with um, weighing out musket balls or something but it could be of the time period so yeah I'm not going to separate it out so I won't pick that up that oops that uh, does come untangled that looks a little bit like a, a wing doesn't it oops is that some kind of fancy pot mend uh, some design it definitely looks like it's been shaped yeah just a little bit of lead that doesn't look much but if you look this side you know it looks like it could be from a container maybe this was the pot that had those coins in just don't know And then these things are strange, kind of like lead, but oops. I mean, look. What that is. Another something shaped. Now these could tell 
as much about their life as uh, the coins and strap ends. It might be nothing to do with the Saxon peoples. A lid over lead. You know, it's things like this. Oops. These are interesting. What they are. See? Look at that. This might be later, the end of a knife or something. If anybody's any ideas, that'll be greatly received. Yeah, looks like the base of a knife, doesn't it? But you just never know with these little bits and pieces. That's heavy, but it's harder than lead. Yeah, and then is that some kind of pinhead or something or who knows? Oops. And that. Oops. And then I think that's a bit of um, what they call it, flint, but there's none in the area, so yeah, I think that's been brought there. And then you just get little bits that you want to kind of hang on to just because they were on the site. When you're looking for tiny stikers, things like that, you hear the noise and it's like, could it be? Right, let's have a look at some of the rest of the items. Okay, so these are the uh, more spindle wall weight type uh, items. So let's have a little look. This one's quite interesting. It looks like a spool for cord or fishing wire to go around. So that's quite interesting. I found one of them. Uh, and then what looks just like a weight. Can't see anything going through it. Now the spindle walls, I've found a few spindle walls, but these are, seem to be slightly different. Uh, you know, not so much the flatter type or designed, but a simple practical design and tall, taller, you know, they're not pyramids, but you know, they're like cones with the top chopped off. <laughs> Uh, I think, is that a frustrum? So basically, yeah, just taller and sloping in. Now that's got quite a biggish hole through. So, fishing weights for, uh, for spindle walls for making thread clothes. Who knows? But they're different. I've had a couple of the flatter ones. So whether these belong to the same people or a different age. Uh, but that's interesting with that that kind of a squarish shape. But it's not symmetrical. So what that is an indicator of. It rested on something perhaps. But yeah, so what that was for. Very interesting one like that and then uh, you know that little thing again if I had to guess I'd say that these were from that time period uh, of the uh, Anglo-Saxon whether everything else is I don't know and then a couple of, like flat weights whatever they are it's got some kind of design on or something or whatever. Yeah, so that's the spindle wall weight type thing. See, I did miss out a couple that I found more recently. 
the museum haven't seen these yet. So that's a flatter one and a smaller one. And then there was this bit of lead. But if you look, I'm sure there's like an animal lead there, but these things, they can just be accidental. But look at that. Is it just me? <laughs> is that coincidental or is that a bird there? That is a, that looks like a bird to me, but yeah, don't know, nothing on the other side. Could just be seeing things. Yeah, on to the rest. So something else that's you know very intriguing is these for want of a better term are they fishing weights? So rolled yeah central hole going through, some are more well made than others. But yeah, found obviously quite a few of these. Now, was this their trade making these or was it just for themselves you know are they selling these to the uh, brigantes in the area who knows but yeah so plenty of those about So again, just trying to show the nature of the people, what they were up to. Most people kind of get, you know, just rid of the bits of lead, but I started keeping it. You know, some are a bit bigger than others, but look at all, it's these little drips that gave me the clue that it was, you know, possibly early medieval along with obviously the other, the stuff that I was finding. Uh, but just these little workings, these little drips you know, they're not, you know, some are flat, but they're not cut square. You know, they don't look precisely manufactured. So this was a, you know, a clue. You know, that it's kind of more oldie, early medieval. You know, they look like they've been kind of dropped onto grass. You know, they, they don't have flat working surfaces. Uh, to, to work on so yeah so kept those just to show the nature of the site yep I was going to say uh, last but it's actually second to last is uh, the iron that I've been uh, finding so yeah there is some different things like spikes or whatever they are yeah that's almost that could be later is that like a chisel don't know what that is but the nail the nails are interesting the shape of them obviously handmade So there's some of that type, some of that type that's a bit thinner, you know, people might know what they are from the uh, head. <laughs> uh, but then there's, I mean, look at that for a nail, absolute beauty. Uh, then there's these. You know, there's a bit of Roman activity on the site, so they may even go back to that. A bit different. And then these kind of hooky type things, whatever they are. 
horseshoes. That's tiny. Uh, somebody pointed out it could be off a, a boot. Uh, or, or not, who knows. But some of them are bigger, could be later. I don't know how old that is. Yeah, but just kept it all because it's all off that site. This is probably more later plough than axe head, but anyway, it's in there. Some of this stuff, that's interesting, like for a pulley of some kind. You can see the iron flaking off, but some of these will definitely be early medieval. So again, it adds to the to the history of the tale of the place, how they were living, what they were doing, in my opinion anyway. Right, we're nearly done with the early medieval Saxon Viking, whatever on earth these people called themselves. Yeah, early England. Okay, last but not least, certainly in my eyes, I've got it on those things because it'll just scratch the table otherwise, is this giant bucket. So this was found on the site, a lead bucket. I think it had an iron handle and there's a bit of a iron strap in the field, whether that was part of it or not. But that is very, very big. So you can see the handle. Yeah. And if we turn it over. I did hope that uh, 25 skeets would drop out, but unfortunately they haven't. You can see that there's a, a rim, like a base, and looks like a pot mend. So, yeah, how old that is, but that is certainly ancient. Whether that's a, it was definitely on the site, right in prime position on the site. Uh, what it was used for, you know, collecting, uh, collecting uh, fish or something, or milk, or whether it was used for dyeing clothes. Who knows what it was used for? But it would have certainly been heavy. So maybe dyeing clothes rather than uh, milk, fetching water. But that is, I'm really pleased with that. That is uh, amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed having a look at the Anglo-Saxon finds from the north of England. I couldn't believe I couldn't believe I was found that little spot. So it's about half, two thirds of an acre. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> I can't can't say can't say where. Uh, but no, it's been it's been great. Stuff's gradually come out. If I go on there now, there'll be practically practically nothing. So I'm hoping at some stage to get either a Deus Two or a Manticore just to go a little bit deeper. Uh, but yeah, wait on that wind. Wait on that winter wet weather and the the grass as short as it possibly can be. See if we can't winkle out one or two more little things. But these uh, stikers are just so tiny, uh, and you know were dropped so long ago that they just take, you know, they just take such a a, a lot of uh, a, a a lot of finding to find those tiny little things. Well, it did me anyway. So, yeah, you know, I'll try and get my hands on a Deus Two or a Manticore and uh, see if we can't go a little bit uh, deeper. Um, the farmer's got no plans of ploughing that field, so that that could be it. Maybe one or two things more. Maybe the museum will dig a, dig a trench or two. I'll put a little clip of uh, them scanning the field. I helped out. It was great, great fun, but it's just fabulous to be 
add into the history of our wonderful country, England. Just so those politicians better stop making a mess of it, eh? <laughs> Bye for now. Ha, ha, ha.